Hi, I'm reading from The Corpse with the Emerald Thumb, the third Kate Morgan mystery by me, Kathy Ace. Chapter One, Seven Days. The jumbled mound that Bud had dumped out of his pocket sat on the breakfast bar of our vacation condo. I said, lovingly of course, you need a man bag. I think the correct term is a merce, replied Bud, looking endearingly smug. Fashion speak from a retired cop who owns just three jackets? I gave him a friendly poke. He grinned. Now all that dead weight's gone, I'm off to get supplies. I saw a bodega across the road when we arrived and I need a beer or three. You let me back in, right? He grabbed a handful of cash as he made for the door, grinning. So long as there are treats for me too. I was still recovering from being squashed into an unreasonably narrow seat on our flight from Vancouver to Puerto Vallarta, followed by an hour in a tiny car where air conditioning meant opening the windows. Treats were definitely in order. OK, I'll see what I can find to make you smile. Back soon, was Bud's parting shot. I grappled with the shutters in the main room, which eventually flew open to reveal a narrow road and some white stucco buildings below, beyond which glittered the Bay of Banderas. I hoped that the ominous clouds gathering on the horizon wouldn't spoil our exploration of the resort's supposedly lush gardens. Our first real vacation, a whole week of just Bud and me, wonderful. As I repeated the shutter wrestling process in the bedroom, I spotted Bud leaving the bodega holding a promisingly bulky carrier bag. He popped into a flower shop next door. I smiled inwardly as I unpacked my suitcase. A distant bell chimed noon, idyllic. It was the scream that drew me back to the bedroom window. I looked out again to see a wailing woman holding open the door to the florist's store. Though the lights inside the store provided only partial illumination, I could make out the shape of a body lying on the floor. Its throat was being gripped by a kneeling male figure. He looked up and mouthed something at the screaming woman. I couldn't hear what he said because just then a pickup truck roared by. But in that instant, I recognised the face of the figure who was throttling the person on the ground. It was Bud.